Hi everybody, welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a wonderful week and a good weekend. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make your Dash app even faster by using Polars instead of Pandas. Polars is a relatively new library uh, that is orders of magnitudes faster than Pandas, especially the bigger the data set and the more uh, filtering or manipulation of data that you need to do. So I built this Dash app to show you an example uh, of slicing the, 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 the time it takes for slicing data or filtering data between polars and pandas and how that might differ. Right? The goal here is not to show you how to build this app. If you want to, uh, to learn about Dash and how to build Dash app completely with Python very easily and very quickly, just watch the video above introduction to Dash and I promise you within 20 minutes you'll know how to build a Dash app just in Python. This video I'm going to show you why Polars or how much faster Polars is compared to Pandas. So take this example right here. We can download the code. It's on my good to know on the GitHub repo. I'm going to put it under the video so go there. It's in the good to know folder Polars and all the code is right here Dash with Polars. All right, I added some links here so you can read more about Polars if you want. Um, so you can um, take this on your own and um, learn more about it and, and create your Dash apps with Polars. I uh, did not do too many graphs uh, with Polars. I built the line chart. I built a histogram with Plotly Express. So it looks like it works, but you will have to test it with other graphs to see if it works with all the other graphs. I think it should work. Okay, so you have the, the code if you want. Let's go into this first example. Here we see that Polars is seven times faster than Pandas. What is this? In this section, I'm loading the data into the app. So we'll go here. Here I'm loading the CSV sheet. The CSV sheet is right here. If you click on this link, this will open up. And if you open this up, all you have to do is download this file this CSV sheet it's 177 megabytes it's more it's a little over a million rows I have it in my on my computer so I'm going to read this into a pandas data frame and measure the time it takes read this same CSV sheet into a polars data frame PL and then measure the time it takes and then I'm going to compare between the two and so we see here the first time it was seven times faster. Let's look at the, at, now I refreshed it and now it's almost, oh, what happened there? It, it's almost seven times faster, 680%. So for Polars, it took 0.1 second to load the data into the app. And for Pandas, it took 1.3. Now it doesn't really make a difference, right? Just one second you're saying it's, you know, not big of a deal, but it is a big deal when you're dealing with instead of 1 million rows, 10 million rows, or 100 million rows, or 2 gigabytes of data. This might make the difference between waiting for 1 minute versus waiting for 7 minutes for your data to load into the app. Let's take another example. The date picker. Here, I change the dates and it updates the graphs ever so slightly, just with new, with new months and day. And what I'm doing here is I'm filtering the data. Right. If you go here, this is actually all of this is actually the first callback. So if you go all the way down to the first callback, you'll see I'm taking the, the dates chosen by the user. And here I'm filtering the data with pandas right here. Choose dates between choose uh, rows that are between these dates. Right. And then I'm measuring the time for everything. Same thing with polars. I'm I'm, I'm filtering the uh, data or the date column with these two dates and I'm measuring the whole time and then I compare between the two. And then you can see here that this time it took Polar 0.03 seconds and Panda 0.09. Again, it's only it's less than a second, but it's three times faster. So if you're dealing with very large data set, this means that it will save you a lot of time almost four times faster. Last example, here I'm taking, uh, uh, the user is choosing a column 
And what I'm doing here, this is the second callback. The user is choosing a column, and we're creating a new column called price. This new column is going to be the column the user chose, let's say low, times the volume column, the number of shares. Right here you'll see low, they chose low, times the number of shares, volume, to create the price column. All right. Um, so just a ma mathematical operations of multiply. And then I'm filtering the data a little bit more just to create a histogram of one company. And I'm doing the same thing with polars. This is how you create a new column with polars. Filtering, creating a histogram. And then I'm comparing the time it took between the two processes. And you can see here that it took 0 0.01 and here is 0 0.02, so about two times faster with polars. If I change this to close, two times faster, change this to open, about two times faster. I've seen this go up anywhere between 1.5 to four times faster. Up until now, I just showed you uh, how to interact with polars eager. There is also something called polars lazy load. There's an eager load or a lazy load. Pause the video um, so I don't have to read this out loud and read this for yourself uh, to learn more about what lazy load means. But in essence, it makes polars even faster. I also have the link right here. I think it's the third link and you can read more about lazy load. And in this case, we're going to, we're going to take an example of reading uh, the data into a dropdown. So let's see this, because this is even faster. We're going to close, hashtag this out, open up line 31 to 54, hashtag out 60 to 62, we don't need this, and then all the, all the callbacks. OK, callbacks, 60 to 62. And OK, so now we have this open from 33 to line 54. And what I'm doing here is when the panda section, I'm reading the whole data frame, uh, the whole the whole data set, the CSV sheet, and then I'm taking the ticker column. Ticker column is just the name of the of the stock or of the company. See ticker A. There's ACN. I think there's Facebook. I'm taking the ticker column and just taking the unique values, and then I'm going to put the list of unique values inside the dropdown. So then this dropdown will have, instead of open, close, it will have a list of unique tickers, right? I think there's about 2,000. I'm not sure. There's many. So I'm, I'm measuring the time it takes it to do it with pandas. And then I'm doing the same thing with polars. But the difference here is that I'm building a query where I just scan the CSV with a lazy load. I don't collect the data yet. I don't do anything with it yet. And then when I build the drop down, that's when I'd say Q1, collect it, pull all the data from this, like optimize this um, uh, uh, filtering, turn it into a list inside the drop down, and then just measure the time and see how long it takes. So if we run this, we'll see that to just load, uh, to create our drop down with all the unique tickers, with polars is 0.09, and with pandas, because I had to load the whole data set, it took 1.4. So polars was almost 1,500% faster than pandas, meaning 15 times faster. Let's do this again. Here polars was 15 times faster. One last time. Here polars was, again, 15 times faster. So I had it between 14 times to 17 times faster when I just want to populate data into the dropdown. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you benefited from this video. If you did, don't forget to um, uh, like the video. Don't forget to uh, um, sign up for uh, the YouTube or my Patreon if you'd like to support the education that I provide. Um, always remember, we are better together, so help each other out. I hope you have a good week.